Cancer, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, March 26th to Sunday, April 1st, 2018. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you all know I am doing an April webinar this Thursday, March 29th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time where I'm going to talk about what's going on during the month of April. That includes uh, Saturn and Pluto going retrograde, Chiron moving into Aries, and Venus, of course, moving into Taurus, as well as the Sun uh, later on. And I think what this month is all about is really, to me, a major transition month between an old life that we had to a new one. And I think by the end of this month, we're going to be in a very, very different place uh, than we were previously. We're going to be, I think, in a much more stable place, uh, hopefully where we feel a little bit more carefree. It's just this month trying to make sure we're bringing everything together so we can find more of that stability by the end of it all, all right? So that is what we're gonna be talking about this month. If you're interested, uh, just so you can plan and prepare for what's to come, please sign up at the link down below in my description box. Now, Cancer, for your horoscope, what we've got going on this week is the sun hanging out right here in your 10th house of your career, your reputation and your social standing in the world. So that's a lot of what you're thinking about, where your life is going, uh, in what way, what you wanna be known for, how you can move your life in the right direction or increase your career and your reputation, okay? I think what a lot of this has to do is where Mars is with the sun coming into a square with Mars on Monday. And Mars is in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships, usually the one-on-one -on -one variety. So I think what's going on is not only are you figuring out where your life is going, what direction you want it to go in, but who can come with you and how the people in your life are coming with you and in what way. So I think you're really trying to figure out how you can work with other people to create a life that it is that you want. Seventh house also rules contracts just because this is hitting you in a very kind of business kind of way. So there could also be some kind of contract as well that maybe comes up or some kind of commitment um, that you may also be working on to help put your life in the direction that you want it to go in. All right. Uh, so that's what's going on at the beginning of this week. Then on Wednesday, we have Venus in a conjunction with Uranus here in your 10th house, which could definitely bring up some unexpected things uh, in regards to your career and where you see your life going. With Venus involved, it's probably gonna have to do with money uh, and a relationship. So big relationship week coming for you, Cancer. Are you trying to figure out how you can use relationships in the best way to get the results that it is that you want that can work for everyone involved and trying to figure that out, okay? And I think on Wednesday, say there could be some unexpected things that come up in regards to relationships uh, and money in some way or maybe even some insights that it is that you get to help you understand better what you need to do how you need to act <laughs> and in what way to bring all of these different parts moving parts together okay so that's what's going on there. Then after that, on Thursday and Friday, we have the sun as it moves further through Aries in your 10th house, make a square over to Saturn. So after you've been trying to think a lot um, most of the week on how you can work with other people to put your life in the right direction, unexpected things have been coming up, maybe some insights too. I think as we get to Thursday and Friday, then you start to make more decisions or at least think more seriously about your relationships and about what you need to do next with them. The sun in a square to Saturn could bring some restriction up when it comes to relationships, maybe feeling like it's hard to get relationships on board with you in some way after everything that's happened earlier in the week. But I think if you can remain dedicated and disciplined, make some decisions, take the long-term approach, especially when it comes to relationships and how you work with them, I think it will help you in the end. All right, a big place I think that's going to help you with is going to be right here where the North Node is in your second house of money, also of confidence. Um, and of what of your gifts and skills and talents because around the same time that we have the Sun in the square with Saturn uh, at the very end of this week so around the weekend Friday and Saturday we also have Mercury in your 10th house in a trine over with the North Node in your second so as you're thinking very seriously here about your relationships about who's on board with you about how you work with people and in what ways to help you do some things that are important to you I think there's also a lot going on and a lot on your mind about money about your confidence, how you can bring more money to you, increase your confidence, use your gifts and skills and talents in the right way. And I think that's what you're trying to figure out 
is how you can start to work with people in your life, not just to put your life in the right direction, but to bring more money to you, to use more of what you feel naturally gifted at uh, in some way, maybe even to work with people with more stability. And perhaps you have to make some hard choices, hard decisions, or maybe you feel this restriction in relationships so that you can begin to hone in on what you need to bring more of that money and that confidence to you. And that could be what happens on the weekend here. After working with people all week, some unexpected things come up on the weekend you start to think more seriously about how you can start to work with people in better ways based on what's happened so that you can bring more money to you bring more stability into your life and do some things that you want to increase your confidence all right um, then after that happens on Saturday, we have the full moon hanging out in here in Libra and that for you cancer is your fourth house of home and family. So as you're trying to focus on where your life is going on some big picture stuff and ha on how people can help you reach the big picture, do some big things with your life and feel more confident and stable. I think there's an ending that's definitely coming here in your home life in what you see at home, in your emotional states, in your private life, so that you can then begin to throw yourself more into some big career aspirations, some new life direction, uh, some kind of reputation that it is that you want. And I think that comes at the end of the week after working with people, figuring out how you need to work with people in order to feel more confident after you kind of work some of that stuff out, I then see you kind of ending one chapter of your life in some way, ending some very personal chapters, the way maybe you see yourself personally, or ending some kind of home or foundation of yours so that you can then start to do some big career thing uh, that it is that you want and start to move your life in a new, different, or better direction. Okay. Then after that on Sunday, what we've got going on is the sun in a conjunction with Mercury, bringing up lots of communication going on about your life and where it's going, huge career chapter, and with relationships. So you're thinking a lot about that, maybe processing with the sun in a conjunction with Mercury on Sunday, everything that's happened to you lately <laughs> that you've been discussing, that you've been trying to work out, maybe you're trying to integrate, that comes in on Sunday, all of the stuff that's been going on with you in your life, all the things that you've been trying to push so hard for to put your life in the right direction. Mars as well. Around the same time that Sun comes into a conjunction with Mercury in your 10th, Mars and Saturn also in a conjunction in your 7th of relationships. I think really helping you not only to process everything that's happened to you lately with where you see your life going, with where you want it to go, with how you want to be known as you really step into this chapter, but I think really helping you too to get your relationships in order to figure out what's going on. Okay, so I think that's what's happening. And I think there's a lot of stuff that we're starting to bring together this week or we're trying to bring together this week to figure out where our life is going, how we can step into a career that we feel better with, how we can get people on our side to work with us and how we can make sure that we're comfortable with where everything is going, that we're actually starting to build something uh, that can last in some way and keep the ball rolling on a lot of projects. And I think that's just what we're trying to work out is what we need to do in the future to make things better, to sustain all of this stuff that we're working towards with career, with people, and to feel more comfortable with it all and to understand it better on the inside. All right. So that's what I've got for you this week, Cancer. Now your card is the moon reversed. This to me does indicate lots of feelings going on beneath the surface emotionally, perhaps that you aren't talking about or that other people don't know about in some way. Okay, this card to me does definitely indicate some kind of emotional unease. Maybe it's this full moon coming in your fourth house of emotions. Uh, and I think what's going on this week is a need to address your emotions uh, to figure out what's going on, if there's anything bothering you, and to not ignore it. All right, um, and I think if you can figure out what's going on inside you, it's going to help you to face these big demands of your life, this new chapter coming in with career and relationships in a really, really big way. And I think you need to pay attention to your feelings and to address those so that you can move forward. Because sometimes with this card, if you don't pay attention to what you're feeling, they work on you subconsciously um, and, and kind of can um, block some of your progress. So I think if you can make sure that you're paying attention to what's going on inside you as some huge big things things in a really big way, cancer, are starting to happen in your life with other people, um, I think paying attention to what's going on and to honoring your feelings and to addressing the hard stuff is definitely going to help you heal them, move forward in a better way, and make this transition to live a more public life, hopefully moving up the ladder to put your life in a better spot.
Okay, so that's what I've got for you this week, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.